Holy Spirit, bring us back to the anointing of travailing. A next word that you probably hear in the Bible is called watchman. In the old days, for example, the wall of Jerusalem, the men, the walls were pretty thick, and the men would walk around the wall of their city. These men were not just ordinary men, these men were trained. They were so trained that they could spot somebody that was for them or against them coming into their village, coming into their city, coming into their town. They were so full of discernment that they can spot it. Not only that, but their responsibility was to see if the enemy was coming or not. If the enemy was coming, that watchman would warn the city, would warn the king, troubles come. That reminds me of Jehoshaphat. I've been studying him lately. When there was war coming, do you remember the Bible says it so plainly that someone came to tell the king an army is coming against you? That was the watchman of that city. Are you being a watchman or a watchwoman in your church? Are you letting anybody come in with their spirits and you doing nothing about it? Are you letting people come in to destroy and belittle and smash your church? We as women need to be that watchman. I'm going to use watchman for now because the Bible uses that. It can go both ways. Are you allowing the devil to come in? And use people to destroy your church? It's time for God's women to rise up and say, Not on my watch. And I will not allow the enemy to come in and destroy my church. Not on my watch. If I will not allow the enemy to come in and destroy my That takes 
love. To be an intercessor, you have to love God's people. You have to love people. And that love comes from God. To be an intercessor is being like Jesus. The Bible says that Jesus is at the right hand of the Father right now, interceding for who? Yes. For you and I right now. Well, I don't want to be an intercessor. Well, you don't know Jesus in reality because he's the perfect intercessor.